Listen to the universe. Did you know, Gopu, you can make stars in the water talk? How, Leela? Aim the stone at the brightest star. Can you see the ripples in the water? That's how things in space talk. When planets, stars, and black holes orbit, collide, or explode, they send ripples through the universe, just like the star you aimed at. Really? Really? Those ripples are called gravitational waves. The biggest gravitational waves come from big crashes, like those two dancing. Black holes attract each other until they collide and merge. Everything moving in space creates gravitational waves, but the really, really big ones come from exploding stars, supernovae, or black holes colliding, or heavy stars orbiting each other. Colliding black holes, supernova, orbiting stars. Leela, do those waves in space make things wobble, like the stars in the water? When I threw the pebble in, the stars around my brightest star wobbled. Hmm, I guess they do make things wobble. That's more or less what Albert Einstein said. Who is Albert Einstein? He was one of the greatest scientists who understood how gravitational waves worked a hundred years ago. He said gravitational waves make everything in their way stretch and squeeze. Everything? Yes, everything. The planets, the Earth. Even you and me. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. I've never seen you or me stretching or squeezing. These waves come from far away and take years to reach us. When they do, they're so tiny we can't feel them at all. That's a pity. I'd like to see them. Are there any special telescopes we can use? We can't see them, but we can hear them. With our ears? Our ears are not sensitive enough. So scientists build really big sensitive ears, just like a rabbit's ear. They also have a name, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO for short. Wow, they do look strange. How do they work? Each of those tubes is four kilometers long. That's how far you get if you run for half an hour. Scientists use these tubes like giant rulers. Send them light down each of them. At the end of each tube, there's a mirror to send the light back. When a gravitational wave passes through the Earth, space stretches and squeezes. One tube becomes slightly shorter and the other slightly longer. By measuring the difference in the light, scientists can listen in when a gravitational wave has passed through and they can measure it and find out all sorts of information about our universe. Where is this LIGO thing? Two LIGO stations are in the USA. There are also three slightly different observatories, Virgo and Geo 600 in Europe and Kagra in Japan. These places are all too far. I wish we had one close by. We will. It will be called LIGO India. And it will be really close to where we live. That's amazing! I know! And I will become an astronomer and discover even more by listening to the universe. Me too! India is listening too. <laughs>